For me, when it comes to software or gear, the most important thing is ease of use. Last week, I came across a Form Builder plugin that just blew me away. This plugin is amazing. It has features like drag and drop. So if you're familiar with say Divi or any other uh, page builders, it has drag and drop. It has pre-built form templates, which means you don't have to scratch your head and try to come up with the layout or the elements that you need for your forms. It is 100% responsive, which means it can be used on desktops, mobile devices, and you know, iPads. It also has integrations. Now, this is what got me really exciting because when you're able to connect your form with tools like PayPal, Stripe, your email mailing list, and so on, this makes this form even more powerful. Let me show you what you can do with this form. But before I do that, if you are interested in this form, I've left a link in the video description below so you can buy it from there. All right, now let's take a look at what you can do. Now over here, I just I was just playing around with this form and this is what I came up with really, really fast. So I just created this page for, you know, summer swimming lessons. So this could be maybe a project that you may be working on as a freelance designer and you're asked to just create a quick payment for a swimming lessons or tennis lessons or even consulting sessions or whatever it is. Now, in some cases, you would need to have WooCommerce, but in this case, as you shall see, very, very easy to set up. So if I scroll down here, you can see I've just added these fields, first name, last name, payment item, and then the payment method, PayPal or Stripe. And then once you click on that, it takes you to PayPal or Stripe. Payment is made, you are redirected to a specific page, you get an email notification, job done. And this is just using this plugin. Now let's take a look at uh, what makes up this plugin. So when you first install it, in fact, installing it is very, very easy. All you have to do is to come over here to plugins and then click on add new. The plugin is called Fluent Forms. So I'm just gonna type in here Fluent. And the very first entry that comes here is the actual form plugin. So as you can see, here it is. Mine is activated. I've gone ahead and activated it. Now, when you use this, it's uh, actually usable from the free version, but it lacks a lot of features. Like for example, the integrations that I've just mentioned, they are missing and also the form templates. They are, they are all missing. So to be honest, trust me on this one. If you're going to be using this plugin, you just wanna go all in and buy the paid version. Uh, now, before I show you how it looks, uh, how it works, let's head over here to the pricing. So for a single license, it's $59. And for five site license, it's 99. And then unlimited, it's 199. So here's the deal. If you have a single website and you'd like to add the, all these features to your single website, then obviously going with this one is ideal. But of course, if you have quite a few websites you're running, like in my case, I have my own website. I also have a oh, plan to uh, design something on my wife's website. So I would go with this five site license. But over here for unlimited sites, this is for like a design agency or if you're a freelance designer. Okay, so enough with the pricing. As you can see, it's very affordable uh, considering that the features that you get with this are amazing. All right, so back over here now, let's take a look at what it looks like So when you install it. So when you install it, you get this entry here, Fluent Forms. So in my case, like I said, I have Pro. So this is the entry that you get. So when you click here, this is where you get all your forms and adding a form onto your page is very simple. All you have to do is to copy this shortcode and then you can just paste it in your page builder, just like that. Okay. Now, over here, this is where you would click to add a brand new form. And these are the templates that you can use. And these are the ones that come in free with the plugin. So to be honest, it's usable. You can use basic contact form. Now, when we come over here to the bottom, this is where you, things start getting exciting. So this is where you start to see all your templates. So online service order form, online order form, and so on education you also have here the student survey form now let me just show you what it looks like if i click here on this one of course there's a lot to choose from <laughs> so i'm just going to click here so you can see uh what it comes uh, what it comes in with so as you can see here you have all these fields pre-added on for you so if i scroll down here you can see it also has a page break quite a lot of information now we can also do a preview and this is the preview of the design. So if you wanna do a preview only, this is what the form looks like. If you click next, it takes you to the next part of the form. If you click next, in fact, I can't go next because I have to fill in these, uh, these spaces. 
Okay, but as you can see, it is um, pretty straightforward to use. Now let's go ahead and create a brand new form so I can show you all the features and how to use this plugin. So back over here, I'm gonna click here on blank form. So these are all the elements that you need. So on the side here, you have your general fields and then you also have your advanced fields. So on your general fields, you can just click here and then all your fields are added over to the right side where we have all the design elements. Okay, so we can add address, we can add, let's say, time and date and file upload. Okay, so simple as that. Now, if you wanna go in and further tweak this, if you mouse over this area here, you see this pencil icon, if you click on it, now you have options to work on other items that you may need to work on here. So let's say, for example, you don't want the last name, you can just unclick that, and now it's gone. If you come over here on the advanced options, this is where you can do all your CSS stuff, but to be honest, uh, you know me, I don't do a lot of CSS. I'm pretty happy with you know what comes out of the page builder itself. Okay, so here, you can go into input customization, as I mentioned, and you can set up your middle name there if you want, last name, so you can make this as advanced as you want. Now let's move on to the next item, so email, if I click on this pencil icon, I can go in here. I can also add my placeholder information here, so I can say enter your email. So you can see here it's being updated uh, over here on the form on the right. And this can be my admin label. And over here as well, uh, I have my label, which I can go in and get rid of altogether. And over here, if I need to set this as a required field, I can just say yes. And now this has become a required field. What I can also do here is I can also hide the label itself. So you can see here, if I say default, it shows here email. But if I want to hide it, I can hide it just to simplify my form a bit more. And this can be found even here on the name as well. I can hide the label. And over here on the date and time, same thing, I can hide the label as well. But as you can see, it's very easy. You can go in, add your placeholder here. Uh, so I can say choose date or pick a date. There we go. And I can hide the label. And over here on the date format, uh, we have all the different types of formats because I know in America, there's a different format as it is here in the UK. So you can choose the one that works for you. So as you can see here, it is very, very straightforward to set up. On the submit form here, you can click here on this pencil icon. And also you can choose your size. You can make it large, medium, or whatever it is, but over here, I'm happy with the medium. Uh, on the advanced, you also can add a help message. Now, I really like this because if you say, click here to submit, but of course, most people know how to, I mean, what that is. Now, this help will uh, add a tool tip. Now, let me show you what that is. So I'm gonna save this form here, and then I'm gonna click on preview. So this is what the page looks like so far. If I click here on choose file, this will go into my file manager and I can choose the file to upload. And I also forgot to show you one thing. On the file upload here, if I click on this pencil icon, I can specify what files I need uploaded here. So let's say I just need a video uploaded here. I can choose video, I can choose images, I can choose audio and also CSV files. So this is very, very powerful. And I can also set up my size here. So let's say I a maximum size needs to be two meg. I can just set it to two. And I can also make this field required if I need to just by adding it like that. Okay, now let's head over here to our input fields. If I click here on uh, custom HTML, I can add and embed my custom HTML uh, content in there. I can even add a video if I need to to this form. I can also add a mobile phone if I need to here. If I click on this pencil icon, it can, um, I can also add the values. So let's say I need these to be, uh, let's say UK, I can start by adding plus four, four, and then leave it like that. So when someone comes to this form, they will know that these are the first uh, two or th first three uh, characters they need and then they can just add the remainder and this is very 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 cool okay so moving on let's come over here to our input fields now there's also other things that we can add like radio fields so i can add my uh, yes and no fields here if i need to and this could be like a questionnaire i can also add multiple choice so you can click here on this drop down and choose the multiple choice options. So I can say, for example, how many cars do I have? Okay, so option one could be one. Option two could be three. And if I need to add more, I can just 
click on this little plus button and add more items. So as you can see here, this is very, very easy to use. I can show the values here as well. And I can also calculate. Now this is a bit more advanced, but of course, if you wanna keep it simple, this is what you do. And that is how you add your multi-select. So if I click on preview design, so you can have your picker dates, you can see how really nice it looks. So there's your date. In fact, I should have saved this for this part to show. So now I'm just gonna refresh this so we can see the radio fields. So I can say yes, for example, here on the field. And you can see here, it has a nice little uh, flag to show me the country. And you can choose the country here as well. Let's say you wanna change it to America. You can just add it by just clicking on this drop down. So it's really, really cool. Now on the multi-select here, if you click on the drop down, you can choose all your answers for the multi-select like that. Okay. But of course you want to add the title there on the top, but as you can see, it's very, very easy to use and it is really, really, really cool. Okay. So moving on, on the advanced fields here, this is where you can add your GDPR agreement. And uh, this is where it just says, I consent to having this website store my submitted information so that they can respond to my inquiry. So that's your GDPR. So again, it has that in place for you. We can also add a color picker. You can also add form steps and uh, you can also have a custom submit button. So you can go in here and further customize this button by coming over here. You can change your colors. You change your background color and you can change the width. So if you want it to be 50%, you can just customize it like that. It also has hover states. So that means you can also add your hover states over here and change your background color for the hover state if you need to. And then on the bottom here, you also have your button size. So you have medium, small, medium, large, which is great. Okay, so moving on, the payment fields. So this is where you can get to, you get to add your payment methods. So let's say you want to add your payment method here. I've added PayPal and uh, Stripe. Now this has to be added on initially for this to show. You can also add your payment fields. So let's say your item here is, uh, let's say it's going to cost say $99. This is where you'd add your price, 99. And pretty much it's as simple as that. Okay, so now that I've shown you how you can go in and customize all this, in fact, you can also have a different pay, uh, pricing plan here. You can have different options. So you can have the first, uh, maybe $99. The second option could be, let's say 129 and so on. So this is, I mean, this can be customized over here. Now let's say you want to delete some of these fields. All you have to do is to hover over it, click on delete and that deletes the items. So as you can see here, I'm going in and I am deleting them. So let's say now it's time to save. I can just save this. And if I need to add this form on a page, I can just click here and this will copy this to clipboard. So let's say I want to, uh, in fact, let me save this first and show you further options. So back over here now to our form, I'm just gonna cancel this. So over here on the forms, I can, Take a look here at all the entries. I can choose the form that I want to take uh, the entries off and this will show me everyone that has uh, added their name and email on that form. So it's really great. I can export these form, I mean these names as well, add them onto my Excel spreadsheet. And uh, over here on the payments, this is where you can see what's pending, what has been paid. So this is great as well. Over here on the settings, this is where you'd come in and set up your payment settings. So here you have Stripe. So on the bottom here, you can see I've added my secret key and my publishable key. Over here on PayPal, all you have to do is to add your PayPal email address and then you can enable your IPN verification and this can be found in PayPal. Over here on the modules, this is where you have all your integrations. So you can integrate this with MailChimp, Active campaign, get response, Trello, Drip, uh, convert kit, and so on. So it, as you can see, this is really, really, really powerful. And over here is where you need to add your pro license. Okay, now moving on over here on the tools, this is where you can import the forms. So let's say you want to export the form. You can export it by choosing it here, 
export it, and then you can export all your data. If you want to import, this is where you would click and import all your data into your form. Now, it also has some documentation, so you can come over here to your documentation and read more about stuff that you may not understand. But as you can see, this form is really, really powerful. Now, the use cases for this form are, let's say you want to create single payment items. You can use this form absolutely very, very easy to use. You can use this form uh, plugin to create, let's say, booking, booking websites. You can use this for like dentist appointments and stuff like that. It's very, very easy to set up. As you can see, it's drag and drop. It says pre-built uh, pre templates, which you can use as your starting point, And then you can delete all the stuff that you don't need on that form. It is 100% responsive, which means you can use this on any type of websites. It has conditional logic as well. I know I haven't touched on that, but the conditional logic is amazing because you can choose options to appear if they meet a certain condition. And also the integrations, you can use this with so many other uh, third-party services, which makes this form very, very usable. So I highly recommend this form plugin. It's called Fluent Forms. The link to that is in the description below. Go ahead, check it out. I am going to be creating quite a lot of tutorials uh, with different use cases for this plugin. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.